hey everybody and oh I've just realized I'm a little bit dark there aren't I let's see oh. no I was going to turn the light on but um, it, I do look a little bit dark don't I um, okay welcome welcome to my Thursday live how is everybody doing today so this one is um, today's session is about if you are feeling a little bit mm, um, feeling stuck feeling like you're going around in circles constantly um, then this one is for you hey Nikki hey Rebecca hey Chantel how are you doing so this one is a big one at the moment every um, I keep finding um, hey Irina lovely to see you that are so many people at the moment are feeling that they are a bit stuck in a rut. That you maybe you've got these um, ideas going around and around in your, you know, for your business and, you know, that you want to do, but you just lack that clarity and direction to know what steps to take. Um, and you've maybe you've got this ton of ideas, but you're coming from a place of fear right now. And you know, and you just can't see the way out to um, sort of move you forward. Are you feeling that it's absolutely impossible to move forward towards your goals right now? So if that is you, then stay with me today for some fabulous techniques that you're going to be able to put in place today. Um, so let me know who's here. I've got a few of you coming in. Please join in the conversation. Um, it's so much better if we get that interaction from everyone and I can obviously help you if you've got some specific areas that you're stuck right now. So if you do feel as if you're throwing spaghetti at the wall and hopefully hoping something is going to stick, then, you know, then maybe this is for you today. So when you're feeling like you're stuck, hey Sam, so that you're stuck and you just don't know you know, a lot of the time you don't actually even know why you're stuck. I, at the moment, you know, whenever I have um, gone <laughs> doing my lives, then I'm getting calls coming through. So let me just cut off <laughs> the calls that is coming through today. Sorry, bear with me one second. Goodness me. Right, I've lost, I've lost my... Um, Bear with me one second. It's typical, isn't it? And actually, I'm going to switch off the Wi-Fi as well because the Wi-Fi will interfere um, with what's going on. So let me just turn off my Wi-Fi on here. There we go. Right, <laughs> I'm back again. <laughs> back again. I don't know who that was that was calling. I should put it on Do Not Disturb. So many times I've been on client call this week and my phone has been ringing right in the middle. Hey, Erica, lovely to see you. So, right, let's get started. <laughs> oh, I think it cut out a little bit there. So if you're coming back, so let's get started on it. So what normally happens when we're feeling a little bit stuck and we're in that rut maybe, is that we then find that our, maybe our initial excitement of doing something starts wearing off. And we're often then felt, feel like we are confused and we're overwhelmed and we just, again, it's stopping us progressing forward. It, and what I am noticing right now is that it actually makes you fairly anxious as well. It makes you restless and it makes you unfocused. And I'm also seeing some very, you know, that you actually can feel a lot of stress as well. Maybe you're actually putting things off that you really know you want to be doing. Um, but, I, you know, and you're constantly sort of overthinking and overanalyzing a situation. Um, and, and that decision then is not actually happening. So let me know if any of those is what's happening with you right now. You know, maybe if you are overthinking, are you stuck not being able to make a decision? You know, maybe you compare yourself to other people. Maybe you're sort of saying, yeah, I want to be doing that and I can't see a way that I can actually get there to do it. Um, cause when actually when you compare yourself to other people, you know, to what they have and what they've done, then you get yourself stuck in the comparison trap 
and that's a dead end because there's always going to be you know that will lead, lead to that sort of not feeling good enough um, situation and it's a game you can't win there because there's always going to be people out there doing things that you know have um, that you want to do that are maybe doing it more than you or uh, that have achieved more so there's no point you know stay in your chapter stay in your lane and and actually you know stay with what you're doing so let me know if any of that is what you are feeling right now is it something that you're feeling? Let me know in the chat if there's something specific that is affecting you right now. Because sometimes as well, and what I've noticed right now, is that we often feel like we want to actually throw in the towel and give up. But I want you to know now that don't, it's, you know, usually at the time you're thinking that you want to give up on this, usually that's the time when you're so close to the next breakthrough. So keep on going. So we are going to look today at some hacks for you, some mindset hacks. Sam, great that you were feeling that way and now we're going to take you away from it, take you away from it. And your mind is a powerful bit of kit. I know I say this a lot, but you know, it's you know, it's almost sort of I you know, I know they sort of say about 80% is your mindset, you know, 20% is strategy and action. Um, but I kind of sometimes think it's even more than that sometimes. And because our mind and body are connected, if we don't look after our own mind well-being, then it can really result in those physical symptoms, that stress and anxiety, and limit the success that we want for ourselves in our, in our, you know, in our um, life and our business. So I want you to be at the top of your game. I want you to be able to actually start really moving forward now. So, and, and what happens is we've got a ripple effect. You know, there's a ripple effect when we change our mindset because we're the ones in control of our life. So let's make ourselves the best that we can be. Yeah, it's all in the brain, Chantal. Yeah, it absolutely is comparing ourselves. Um, you know, it really is. It's it's stuff and we can either keep on doing that or acknowledge that there's always going to be people that are doing that extra and, and that's just life. Stay where you are and stay authentic to you. So, you know, you are in control of your life. Let's make, you know, let's be the best that we can be. We do get what we focus on. So, you know, where, where are you focusing right now? Where is your mindset at right now? So whether you're feeling just a little bit stuck or, you know, or you're feeling, you know, really stuck, you know, there might be some of you that think right now that, yeah, I'm okay, I'm a little bit stuck. But other, others of you might be thinking, I feel like I'm absolutely stuck in mud right now. And you need some support to get you out of the mud. So let me know whether, you know, what, where you're feeling right now, where you're at. Um, and I'm going to give you some steps today to get you out of where you are, whether you're a little bit stuck or you're actually stuck in the mud and you can't see a way out. Okay. And the first one we're going to start with today is actually my favourite one. And it's a favorite, my favorite one. And, and I must admit, I don't know about you, but this week, I don't know whether it's because the weather's changed again, but I've actually felt a real dip in my energy this week. So I've made, you know, I have purposely actually taken action to get myself, my energy levels up. So the first one that I want you to do when you are feeling really stuck is to step away from what you're doing. Step away from it. Instead, instead of the constant whirring around your mind where you're playing things round your mind and it's going round and round you are literally going to put your hand up and you are going to say you know say stop stop what's going on in my head and then you're going to do something totally different because if we shift our focus there it gives our brains a time a uh, time to kind of recuperate to have some quiet it takes the pressure off so that we can come back with a fresh and new perspective. So when we give our brain a break, 
it actually refreshes our thinking. It's almost that catch-22, isn't it? We're, we're thinking we've got so much going on and I know I want to move forward, I just don't know the way out. But we keep playing that in a cycle round and round and round when actually the way out of it is to take yourself away. And then you can see yourself with a fresh, through a fresh pair of eyes. Um, I, in my coaching, we talk about if you're actually in a problem, let's just say you put your head in a chair. You know, if your head is, in the, is stuck in the chair, you can only see the chair. You need to take yourself out of it to actually have the view of the whole situation. And actually, one of my favourite sayings, which I was reminded of yesterday from my mentor, was that um, taking a break is actually a money-making activity. It's a money-making activity because you free yourself up, you get that flow back to get yourself generating income again. So take the first step is to step away and take a break. Um, the next one, do let me know as we're going through if any of these are resonating with you particularly and um, if you need any um, support as we're going through. I do love it when we, you know, I've got um, that engagement as well. So number two is to take a step back and look through a different perspective. So we've kind of stepped away first of all and took a break. Now we're actually going to look at it from a different perspective. So often we get really unstuck um, or often we try to get unstuck by pushing forward. Keep on pushing and pushing and trying harder and harder. And again, you know, for me, if we keep on doing what you've always done, you will always get what you've always got. So Einstein, what Einstein actually said, no problem can be solved from the same level of consciousness that created it. So again there, if I use an analogy of a fly, you know, there's an open window, but the fly flies into the, win in, into the actual window. Whilst it's in the glass, it can't see the other way out. So again, you know, we're going to start looking at something from a different perspective here. We're going to access your current situation from a new viewpoint. Um, Chantelle, sometimes you'll leave a work problem alone and then the following day I might make up might make up just knowing how to solve the issue. Absolutely, we'll come on to that actually because that's a really good one um, to do that. But the, the, the second point, we're going to take a new perspective. So if you actually think about where you are, what got you here and what you really want, then you take a step back. And what I want you to actually do is imagine you're, you're flying above it all. You're flying above it, it all as if you're in a helicopter or an aeroplane or whatever. And you're looking down on that um, and what's going on in your current situation. Then what I want you to do is then notice, if you're taking that bird's eye view, then what can you notice differently from that perspective? Hey Lucy, lovely to see you. So what can you notice differently from that perspective? Can you see a different direction? Can you see different solutions and options? Are there people that can support you when you're taking that bird's eye view? You know, is the way out of that situation much closer to you than you think it is? And another way to actually do it when you're in that bird's eye position is as well as looking at it from a different perspective, you could also look at it as a neutral observer as well. So you can actually, it's almost like you're a fly on the wall looking at your own life. So what advice would you give to yourself? So there's two ways of looking at things from a different perspective there. You know, the one when you take that bird's eye view and then the second one is taking it from a neutral position. So what advice would you give if you were looking at your situation to do that? Step three is about getting specific. Sometimes when we are stuck, it's because we're overwhelmed with the amount of detail and we actually even say to ourselves, I, don't, I know I'm stuck, but I don't know why I'm stuck. Um, so you've got to get really specific and identify what's really going on. You've got to name it to tame it, as the saying goes. 
So what I do with my clients is we, I, we, it's like peeling off an onion. It's like peeling off the onion layers. What is really going on for you? What's really getting in the way of you moving forward? Is it fear that's come up? Is it doubt? Is it overwhelm? So once you know the real underlying issue, you can then look at the options to solve it. So really think about what it is that's stopping you first. And a great way of doing that is to actually journal on it. So do a brain dump, you know, or you can just ask yourself those questions. You know, what is it that's really going on for me? What's really getting in the way of me moving forward? And then once you've got that, you know, you can actually get, re you, you've got, got that specific detail. You can then look at other, you know, the options to solve it to solve, you know, get you out of that rut. The next one, again, is another one of my favourites. It's number four. And this is about reconnecting to your why. You know, we can, I think, you know, especially female entrepreneurs, we can get, it can be a lonely ride, can't it? And we can get so focused on the outcome that we want that we often lose sight of the bigger picture and what's important to us. Why we actually did this in the first place. I know that I, I had a bit of a, uh, an awakening, if you like, you know, some months ago, because I know that the reason why I do what I do is not only is it because I'm very passionate about transforming the lives of, um, you know, women I've seen, you know, have the transformation myself. I want other women to do that. But it was also about freedom. It was about freedom about creating life on my terms. But then uh, that was my, that's my outcome. Of, that's why I do what I do. And then I was finding that I was booking in things all over the place. You know, that I was, I was literally working myself to the bone. I wasn't creating the life on my terms. It was to fit in with everybody else. So what I would like you to do is actually think about, you know, what, what's important to me about doing what I do? What is my passion that has drove me to make this change in my life anyway? What are my reasons for doing it? And then get back in touch with that. And make sure it's for you, it's your, you know, why it's important for you, not for other people. So like I said, for me, I was trying to please too many other people. You know, I was doing, fitting in things to please them rather than what was right for me and fitted in with me. So ask yourself, what's your why? What's your purpose? Why were you doing this in the first place? Why is this um, important to me? And get in, back in touch with that. Okay, number five is to brain dump everything. This is literally so that we can start brainstorming our options. You know, again, often we can feel stuck because we don't see a way out of our current situation. So I want you to brain dump all your thoughts first. What is it that's actually going on? You know, get it all down on paper, brain dump it all. And then you're going to explore your ideas and possibilities. So this is how you're going to be able to expand your mind and open your thinking to find a new solution. So once you've got that, you can then start exploring lots of potential options for you. And then you won't feel trapped anymore. And this is about being really creative here. It's about being really creative to see all of the possible um, or potential possibilities. It's a, there's a caveat to this. This is not about finding the one, right one, or the perfect option because that just creates more and more stress for you. So this is about coming up, being as creative and as crazy out there as you can be about all of the different potential opportunities and possibilities for you. So ask yourself, you know, make a list of all of the current options for you with your current situation. And then what other options are there out there? What else could I do? What else and what else and what else? Keep asking yourself that. So it's not about finding that one key solution. It's about expanding your mind. 
because then we will see lots of different options and ways out rather than that we're stuck and we can't see the solution. Okay, the next one, <laughs> this one does make me giggle a little bit whenever I think about this because this is the one I see so, so much. And okay, so number six is to let go of what's not working. I'm just gonna ask you here, how many times do you keep on doing something over and over again when you know it's clearly not working for you? How often do you do that? Just let me know. Yeah, Chantal, it isn't about finding that one key solution. It really isn't, it's about opening your mind. So I'm glad that was a bit of a ha-ha for you. We can get really, it just taps into that perfectionism bit again for, for us, doesn't it? So um, it's a really good way of just kind of mind mapping possibilities. And, you know, the way our mind works is, you know, it loves stuff like that and it focuses on that. It presents more and more of those opportunities to you when we've done that. So going back to number six, let go of what's not working. Let me know how many times have you been doing something that you know is not feeling right for you that you're feeling really stuck and you just don't know what's out but you keep on doing the same thing maybe like me you know you kept on booking you know i was kept on booking more clients in my diary rather than going no hang on a second i've got a block you know i kept on following the same pattern the same doing the same habit you know whether you are somebody that you know, do you procrastinate when you get overwhelmed? Do you kind of, do you have a big to-do list and you keep on writing and adding to that list rather than thinking, okay, that list keeps getting bigger. Is that working for me right now? So we need to look of changing our old habits and our own, our old programs. So Nikki, yep, guilty of that, think the need to follow rules has always affected me. Yay, so now's the time to change it. Now's the time to change it because, again, one of my favourite sayings that I've said earlier, if we keep on doing what we've always done, we'll always get what we've always got. So if you keep on doing something and you're expecting a different result, then isn't that the definition of insanity? <laughs> isn't that what they said there? You know, you cannot keep doing the same thing and expect a different outcome. Something has got to change. So we can continue to run the same old habits, the same limiting beliefs, the same stories, um, you know, that you've kept on telling yourself, or you can change it you can change it. So how can you reframe your thinking in order to change the direction that you are heading? Okay, number seven, number seven, do keep letting me know which one of these is popping up as the one that you're going to try today, because I want you to pick at least one of them to try today to get you out of feeling stuck. Number seven is to take action. You know, getting into action is absolutely criti critical to getting unstuck. There's really no substitute for momentum. So action enables further action. While the opposite of that just creates more and more confusion and self-doubt. So one of the Simon Sinek's quotes was, if we, can, if we think of everything we have to do, we feel overwhelmed. If we do the one thing we need to do, we can make progress. So we can't know what the future holds. And so trying to figure out everything before we've even started it is an absolute recipe for disaster. So drop the perfectionism thing. Just now think, what is that small first step that I can do to keep the momentum going? to get that, that started, to get it, to get started. Um, so Sam, let's see what, you've got a daily to-do list but never complete it. I'm changing it to an achievement list. Absolutely, so you want to look at your to-do list and pick a um, couple of things, you know, I say three maximum and put that on your list. So that's your to-do list, so that you can then at the end of the day say, I've crossed off my things. 
um, because it's really important that we actually stop that whole berating ourselves, you know, and, and having a huge to-do list is one of those key things in self-sabotage, you know? So um, absolutely, you know, cut it down and have it as an achievement one as well. So what's that small step that you can do to get you out today? Um, and finally, I want you to shift your state. Instead of placing all of your focus and your energy on the problem, what's not working for you, shift your focus and, en and energy. So do something that really brings you joy, you know, or do something that's going to actually raise your vibration level. So whether it is to go and take a walk uh, or meditate or, you know, whatever it is that you love doing, if it's playing music, I've got my little oils as well to pick up my mood. Whatever it is, go and do something that's going to shift your mood and your state. And it will stop that downward spiral because that's really key when we, you know, otherwise we can go into this downward cycle of, con you know, constantly saying I'm stuck and then you keep on repeating the same behaviours and so your mood starts dropping and then you kind of berate yourself and it's this vicious cycle, a negative uh, mood cycle. So what is it that puts you in a good mood? What can lift you out of a negative state? You know, because that's really key. Uh, and I also want to just sort of mention to you here that it's okay to reach out for help. You know, I think we can often feel as if, um, you know, it can feel quite hopeless and overwhelming and just really impossible to get out of some places, you know, when we're on our own doing it. So sometimes just a little push or, um, you know, from someone else can give you a different, you know, can really change your trajectory. So um, I know in my, um, you know, I've, my mega success mindset accelerator, one of the ladies that was on my, you know, my January program, you know, she is literally just flying at the moment, but she would got into, you know, she didn't want to ask for help. She'd been plodding along and doing it, trying to do it all herself. And actually she came on the program and had massive shifts literally within a few weeks of the program you know so some it's okay to actually ask for help get some support you know a coach can ask you the questions you need to do to see things from a different angle so or even if you just want to talk to a friend you know sometimes you might just want to talk to a friend and I want you to also just remind yourself that you are always in the right place at the right time you know so whether or not it's clear to you right now the universe is unfolding exactly as it should be so trust in that trust that you know sometimes it may may take a little bit longer than you'd like but there may be a good reason for that maybe it's not a good time for you to move forward or make those changes yet or that you need some more information or that you need some help and support to make that progress so just know you are exactly in the right place at the right time for you to do that. So, okay, I hope you've enjoyed that session today. Do let me know in the comments, as ever, um, what your biggest ahas are. You know, what is going to help you best in your current situation to get you out of where you're stuck right now? Because any movement, any movement will help shift your mindset and get you unstuck, move you forward. So let me know in the comments what it is for you right now. And just as a little reminder, oh, I'm just see singing and dancing yesterday. Yay, Sam, fabulous. Um, just as a reminder that from Monday, I'm doing, we're calling it an experiment actually, because it's a money mindset challenge, but it's an experiment because we're doing, um, I'm doing a, a collaboration with uh, Rachel Smith, another um, mindset coach, and we are doing a money challenge, a money mindset challenge on Clubhouse. It's a 21 day challenge, it starts on Monday, so if you are not on Clubhouse, 
and you've got an iPhone, do drop me a note and I can invite you because it's invite only. So come along and join in. It's going to be, you're going to have access to two money mindset coaches. So myself and Rachel are going to be doing this for 21 days. So starting from Monday, you will have that. So let me know if you need an invite and I'll see you from then. See you next week as well, guys. Bye for now.